Hi, this is Clarissa with Pickaway County Library bringing you this week's STEM challenge. This week's challenge is to see if you can build a bird's nest. Before we jumped into this challenge, we borrowed a few books on different types of bird's nests so that we could learn a bit about the different sizes, shapes, and locations that birds build their nest. Then we looked around our yard and found this one and a couple of others that weren't in as good of condition to give us some ideas of how they were constructed and what materials around our yard the birds used. I thought this was very helpful and gave us a little bit more information to start with before we jumped into building our nests. Here's some examples of materials you could use. If you don't have these around your house, you could use other more non-conventional things like toothpicks or bits of string or yarn and chenille wire or pipe cleaners. You don't have to stick to natural materials if you don't have an outdoor space. To increase the level of the challenge, I challenged my children to use clothespins or tweezers to mimic a bird's beak to assemble their nest and not allow them to use their hands to see how much more difficult it would be to build a nest like an actual bird. To test our nest building capabilities, we decided to use small rocks to represent eggs to see if our nest could actually hold the eggs. If you're building a larger nest, you could use something like a chicken egg or a wooden egg from a kid's play set. As you can see, only really one of our nests passed the test. The others sort of crumbled, but we still had a lot of fun building these and learned a lot about different types of birds' nests and how their nests are made. Hope you'll try this week's STEM challenge. We would love to see photos of your finished bird's nest. Feel free to share them to our Facebook page for Pickaway County Library.